Let's subtract 8 and 6 tenths from 20. Now don't forget, subtraction is not commutative. In other words, order matters when subtracting. So be very, very careful with the order here. We are subtracting this number from this number, so it's 20 minus 8 and 6 tenths. Now if you need to, go ahead and place a decimal point and a zero there. And then again, remember we subtract as for whole numbers, but notice I did line up decimal points because that's how we subtract decimal numbers. But now, just pretend like these are whole numbers. I can't take 6 from 0, so I need to borrow. I can't borrow from here, so I'll borrow here. This would become 10, but it's going to become 9 because I'm borrowing from it. And then 6 from 10 is 4. 9 minus 8 is 1. And then 1 minus 0 is 1. And then we line up decimal points, and there's the decimal point in my difference. The difference is 11 and 4 tenths. Now, how can you check subtraction? Take 11 and 4 tenths, add to it 8 and 6 tenths, and that sum should be 20. It will be.